Well, thanks very much. For those that don't know me, my name is Heather Clark. I'm a um, strategic projects and funding manager and also the digital coordinator at the City of Wolverhampton Council. Um, I've, I've been involved across the years actually around the digital inclusion agenda, but very much this has really, um, this has really been raised as an issue um, as a result of COVID. So I'll see if I can get this as a slideshow. Okay, so these are that's a, a little bit of as a background of what the issue. Now, pre-COVID, um, we have some stats that indicated that 35,000 people had not been online for three months and 59,000 lacked all five basic digital skills. And there was often this thought that it tended to be older people, but actually a significant proportion of those were under 60. What COVID has highlighted is actually the extent of the issue is a lot greater than this. Um, and this it's not just around motivation skills, it's around lack of devices and the inability to afford the connectivity, which does seem to be a big issue. And figures from the Good Things Foundation are, are implying that it's a lot greater than this. Um, We've also had a number of local intelligence, which were rather worrying. In the first lockdown, we had 50% of adult education learners couldn't access. Um, nine out of 10 residents on a basic skills course, 60% of job seekers, 25% on impact, which is targeting young people. And this again was due to lack of devices and or lack of connectivity or data poverty, where they couldn't afford to buy enough connectivity. We also, showed a huge issue around schools where there was a number that had less than half of the pupils had a device or connectivity to access remote learning during that time. Um, and also mentioning as part of the One City Fund that um, Wolverhampton VCS ran, um, the connected, play, uh, connected round was six times oversubscribed. So you can imagine the demand is utterly huge. So um, just a little bit of an overview. We've been very proactive actually in a, in a short period of time. So um, in terms of the children and young people, the school has been proactively applying for the Department for Education funding. Eight, um, 700 um, laptops have been distributed to certain certain group of people, which um, the criteria of the um, Department for Education scheme um, provided. The remaining 200 laptops we're going to be lending out to schools for children to go into self-isolation as part of the library lending scheme, which I'll talk about in the next slide. Um, we have three, three schools have identified families to participate in a Department for Education research project around connectivity. Um, five wards have donated ward funds to provide SIM cards to enable children to get online whilst they're self-isolating. And BT have donated 100 BT hotspot vouchers to help children get online. And there was an announcement only yesterday that Vodafone have also made nationally quarter of a million SIM cards available to enable children to get online. So it's definitely been recognised as an issue. And our school improvement team are really proactively working with schools and local learning technologies services to pilot online learning and provide assistance to for remote learning. And just lastly, I mean, the adult agenda, obviously, some of our online centres and community organisations have proactively applied for devices via devices.now, which is great. It means people can have the access to their own um, technology. And that's made a real difference in people's lives. 60 care homes now have an iPad to allow their um, residents to connect to their families. I mentioned Wolves Online, it's a pilot tablet loan scheme and we're going to be loaning out devices to residents via trusted partners, including sort of um, community learning organisations, um, Wolves at Work, and that will, and also vulnerable adults and carers, and that will enable those people to apply for benefits, access online learning, reducing isolation, accessing support. Now, there's only 50 in the original, in the initial pilot, but we're looking for significantly more money to scale that up. 
and we will then be opening that up to other trusted partners. So I have this listed the trusted partners in the initial pilot. We've also secured some ESF funding for some additional devices and they have to target ESF participants under Impact Family Matters and Community Grants. We are conducting a detailed analysis of digital inclusion, mapping against community assets, and we're really keen that we, if we find there's a particular issue in a certain area, we do have a focused place-based approach to try and tackle that and encourage organisations to become online centres because it gives you access to resources that you wouldn't otherwise have and look at tools, uh, Reboot, which is a toolkit for community organisations that want to set up their own digital inclusion plan. And lastly, uh, as a council, we're committed to a digitally included city. So we're currently exploring innovative ways of getting people online. So that might include the use of personal budgets, telecare. Um, so that's a, a work in progress, but yeah, we're really very committed to this agenda. So that's my bits.